Howdy folks, so we are back uh, doing up a custom Luigi amiibo, uh, converting the standard amiibo into Raccoon Luigi, which just makes sense to me given his pose. Um, I showed you how to uh, sculpt the additional ears and tail on um, on the part one of this series. Um, there will be a link at the end of the video if you're wanting to see that. But right now we're going to start by putting more masking tape on the uh, model where the ears and the tail would be basically around the hat so that we could actually more comfortably and confidently paint the ears and the tail without worrying about messing up the pre-existing paint job. Before we do that though, I don't want to mention that I did give this model a spray with some uh, spray lacquer from Testers. Uh, you might also find it labeled as Delcoat, uh, just so that the paint has something to adhere to on the green sculpting um, putty that we use. Uh, if you don't put anything on that, it may take a few more coats and it just gets harder and messier to, to have to deal with. So uh, doing a single clear spray coat uh, before that gives your paint something nice to adhere to. So once we're done putting all the tape on, um, we're going to start just painting up the uh, the brown for the ears and the tail. I'm using the same brown. Um, if you're interested in the paint colors I'm using specifically, you can go ahead into the uh, comments or into the description down below and uh, find which specific uh, brand of paint I'm using, um, as well as the the color of that brand. But you could really use any decent model quality paint um, to 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 your heart's content, as long as you're happy with the color. Uh, I'm gonna put a couple coats on this. Remember, thin your paint down with water and do more and multiple coats. That'll give you a nice flat, even finish, as opposed to a clumpy, lumpy, um, uneven finished coat where there may be lumps um, of paint throughout and it just doesn't give you a nice finished uh, quality. Thin, multiple coats is what you want. And let them dry fully in between them. Once the brown is at a solid color and dry, I'm going to actually use a little bit of masking tape to paint, uh, to mask some stripes off on the tail as well. You can also freehand this if you're really comfortable with that, but just in case you aren't, um, I just took a few thinner strips of masking tape and laid them on the tail and then mixed in some yellow into the brown paint I used and uh, to just give it a lighter toffee color and then painted those stripes on. Again, doing the same thing, multiple layers, multiple coats. You want to give it just enough time to dry but not necessarily let it wait too long because you might pull the paint off um, when you pull your tape. So, so you know, you want to basically pull the tape off as soon as the tail is fully and completely dry and just peel off all the tape. Um, and there you kind of have it. You can kind of see uh, that the model is, is really lovely. You don't need a lot of time or you don't need a lot of paint to customize your amiibo. And, uh, and yeah, I'm actually very happy with the way he turned out. If you want to see more customized amiibo tutorials, let me know in the comments what amiibo you'd like to see me tackle next time. You can also check out uh, the other videos like part one of this video where I sculpted on the ears and tail, or you can check out uh, some of the details I did on the Fire Princess Peach amiibo uh, down in the video links below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you you want to see more videos like this and uh, if you want to share and like this I very much appreciate it thanks for watching and I will see you soon